Yeah, what's good? It's your boy PB3G, and welcome to Blurred. You heard the network. Please like and subscribe, gang. I'm back. I had to take a couple days off, had some family stuff going on, and now I'm back. I didn't review episode uh seven of Marvel's What If because it was kind. Of, it was a filler episode, gang. You know that's what we call episodes that don't really matter to the whole grand scheme of things it's just a fun little episode that's what we call it an anime filler so that's what this episode was uh episode seven and the really the only important part is the last few seconds of it where freaking ultron shows up fire oh my god like that woke me up i was falling asleep during episode seven but when ultron showed up at the end I want crazy. Now, I'm here to talk about episode eight of Marvel's What If, what if what what's going on. Uh basically Thor, you know, episode seven ends and Thor runs into Ultron. Ultron pops up in his universe with his Ultron bots, and they're ready to do some damage. They ready to mess stuff up. And that's what I like from Ultron. You know. A lot of fans, including myself, we didn't like how Ultron was used. I like Ultron, and I like Age of Ultron, the movie. I just didn't like how he was used. He was kind of used as a throwaway. It was still around that time they were killing off villains at the end. Ultron shouldn't be killed off at the end, you know, especially because he's a robot. He can always download his consciousness into the internet and just find and go out and make a new body and come back. He does it all the time in comic books. We need Ultron to come back in live action. But that might not be possible. They might not want to do that. They be in Marvel and Disney. So episode eight, or at least the ending of season one of What If, is kind of like here. Y'all complained about Ultron. Here, we made him a main villain in the uh, What If series. So maybe that's all we're getting, and we got to take what we can get. But Ultron shows up, and not only does he show up, he has Vision's body. Let's go! He has Vision's body. Now, what I'm thinking is happening here, because the What If episodes have been simple so far they haven't been too crazy like the in the comics too complicated they've been really simple so what i'm thinking is ultron this is an ultron from the age of ultron universe where instead of the avengers stopping him he won it's simple as that and i'm not sure that's the case it could be a little bit more to it but right now that's my working theory is that instead of being stopped during the events of age of ultron Ultron succeeds, he gets Vision's body, and then apparently he goes on to collect the rest of the Infinity Stones, which makes sense, because he has one in uh, Vision, and if you remember, Ultron's thing was he wanted to wipe out all human life or organic life and, you know, usher in this new era of a machine-led world. So it makes sense that once he gets past the Avengers... He would probably move on to the rest of the, his universe. And then once he's done with his, his universe, he'll open up the multiverse and start on other universes. And that's what it seems like is happening here. He marches in with his whole army, super badass, super uh, a big Ultron move like this. And now we haven't seen the t last two episodes, so we don't know how it's going to play out. But this is how Ultron is supposed to be. He's supposed to like world ending. Like, all hope is lost. Like, I don't know, Age of Ultron, the movie, it kind of felt like, I guess because it's an Avengers movie, we know the heroes are going to survive in the end, and they're going to stop them. And it just, I just don't think Ultron was the good villain for that movie. I think they should have won somebody else. I get what they were trying to do, but I think they should have won somewhere else with it. And now, I like that Ultron's being used in this cartoon because they have more, um, they have more room to create and explore and do all this crazy stuff we like to see with Ultron. So I'm not mad at Ultron's being used here, nor am I mad if this is the last time we see him. Maybe we'll get him in another season down the line. 
But I love Ultron. He's one of my favorite Avengers villains of all time. I'm glad to see he's being used as a main focal point villain for the end of season one of What If. So that's great. Now, um, I guess they're gonna they're gonna band together some of the characters that we've seen on the over the past couple episodes to stop Ultron. We know Captain Carter, we know Doctor Strange Supreme, Party Thor. I uh, think we've seen some images of Gamora, um, Fury, Hawkeye, maybe even Captain Marvel from the uh, previous episode will show up and help out. We don't know. It's, I think I believe that the season finale is these last two episodes. So we shall see. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you excited for um, episode 8 of What If? And since I didn't do any type of breakdown or reviews of episode 7, let me know how you guys were feeling. I was a little iffy. I thought it was fun and funny, but it wasn't really my thing. Let me know if you guys liked that episode. And let me know if you guys are excited and what you guys think will be happening in episode 8 tonight. Subscribe to my channel. It's your boy PB3G. We're going to keep this going. Gang!